guys, it's Tash, and welcome back to the Microsoft 365 SIP. Now, I've been a little bit MIA these days, but there's a good reason for that. I've been working on some Power Automate behind the scenes, and I've got a really cool Automate to show you today, so you can spend more time having a longer coffee break. Today, we're gonna to be creating an instant cloud flow. What is an instant cloud flow? An instant cloud flow is a button that you press to trigger the flow. So in this instance, you would put the Power Automate app on your mobile device. You would go to the instant flows, click the play button, and your flow would run. So what's this amazing flow that I'm gonna show you today? Well, I'm gonna show you a flow that you can use in your everyday life. It's the I am running late or I am sick today flow, okay? So what that means is I whip out my mobile app, I press the button and I've got a decision that I can either send to my team that I'm, I'm running late today or I am feeling unwell today. Why would we want to use a flow like this? Because let's face it, when I'm sick, the last thing I want to do is whip out my laptop and write an email that I'm not feeling well and having to explain why. I've got this pre-made template, it's ready to go, boom, off to my colleagues. And the same situation when I'm running late. When those, when those Melbourne trams are running late, the last thing I want to do is try and type an email and I'm trying to hang on to a pole and there's people everywhere. If you've been on Melbourne trams peak hour, you will understand, or let's face it, any Australian city these days. It's hard to just whip out your mobile and type an email, but with an instant cloud flow, boom, press the button, send the email, you're running late, it's pre-generated, ready to go, no issues. Let me show you how. So to access uh, Power Automate, you have a few ways. Um, you can go to office.com, w.office.com, log in with your credentials and to the left app, to go to the apps and then search for Power Automate. Or you can just simply type and bookmark this URL, make.powerautomate.com. Okay, so once you're in powerautomate.com, um, you need to go on the left hand side and click create. Okay. Once you click create, you're choosing the instant cloud flow, triggered manually as needed, as we're triggering, triggering our flow today with the push of a button. So that's why we need to select instant cloud flow. Go ahead and name your flow as you wish. I'm going to be call it um, running late or sick today flow. And we're looking to select a manual trigger for this flow. Okay, so that's the push of that button. Manually trigger a flow, select that and hit create. Do we need to do anything? Yes, we do. We need to select this box, manually trigger a flow and add an input in. What is an input? An input is because when we press the button, we need to input um, something to tell the flow that we're either sick or running late. So the flow can run um, with, with, with whichever one we choose, sick or late, right? So remove this number here, this text number, and write, press one if I am sick or any other number if I am running late. So if I was to be sick, right, and press the button, I press number one to inform the flow I'm sick or any other number, to tell the flow I'm running late today, okay? So that's our first step there. Now we go back and we press the plus sign to add a new action. It can be quite tricky sometimes to get a hold of that plus sign, so just hover around to your, see your mouse, as you can see, there we go. Now we need an action, okay? Our next step. What's the next step in the flow? And that's going to be a condition, okay? Condition, here we go, click condition. Now. What we need is we've got a condition. So when we when we hit the button, we press one or any other number, right? So there needs to be a condition if it's true or if it's false. So if we click here and we click this lightning bolt, what is this lightning bolt? Okay, this lightning bolt picks up any data from a previous step. So if I click the lightning bolt, right? I can see here, I'm not seeing that input that we just made and that's what I'm searching for. I need to find that input for the condition. So if you go to the right here, you'll see, see more. Um, okay, so here we go. And I've got this see more here. 
press 1 if I'm sick or any other number if I'm running late. So that's what we just created in the previous step and that's the data we need for the condition. So we're going to go ahead and select it. And we're going to go, if we press, if we press 1 if I'm sick or any other number if I'm running late is equal to 1 here. Okay? Because that's our condition. We need something to be true and we need something to be false. So I need to give it something to be true, which is going to be, if I'm sick, it's equal to one. Okay, so that would be in our true and anything else, any other number we select is false. So that means if we select one, it will send an email saying, we are sick today. If we press any other number, the condition is false and it will send an email saying we're running late. So that's the whole purpose of the condition. All right, guys, so in here, right, we know that if we select one is true, we're gonna have our sick email in here. So we need to search for send an email. Okay, and because I'm on um, Outlook connection um, with my connection that I'm signed into today, I need to select the Outlook connector. If I was to collect, you can select mail if you're in Gmail, Apple or any other application, but if you're an Outlook user, you would need to send an email um, using the Outlook connection there. Now I am going to notify my manager, 365 SIP manager, that I'm not, I'm not well today. So I am not well. And I'm going to be using this flow all the time, remember, so I don't need to give an exact reason why I'm sick. I want to just keep it as generic as possible for all the times so I'm unwell. So, hi, manager, manager, the 360, at the 365 SIP, I am unwell and I will not be in the office today. Thank you, Tash. Cash. All right, and that's it. If you want to put sensitivity, if it's a sensitive email, you can put that in there. If your workplace or you've got the sensitivity uh, option there, or if it's high importance, I guess if you're not, if you're going to be sick and there's lots of meetings on, make sure you flick that to high so your manager does not miss that email. Uh, if it's just normal, then keep it normal. Okay, that is all we need to do in this step, and you can pretty it up, do whatever you want, add stick emojis in there, anything that tickles your fancy. All right, so that's that's that email done. Now we've got the false email here, okay? So now we're going to be searching for um, the send an email here. All right, so same as before, Outlook Connector, same, same thing we require because we're using Outlook. I need to notify my manager at the 365 SIP, same email, okay? And the subject here is going to be running late. Okay, hi manager at the 365SIP, I am running late today due to the Melbourne trams. Okay, that's it and say thank you Tash. Okay, and that's it. Sensitive, sensitive, you keep low and importance, you can put high, normal or low. All right, and that's it. So that's all I need for my flow um, and the flow should run, should run. Um, and the best thing we can do now is we hit save. So we always hit save when we're creating a flow because if I was to just hit our exit or out of the um, tab, then I can lose my flow. So important to always hit save at the top and then we're going to test the flow. So let's see that this flow works. Okay, so test manual test test and this is the same experience you'd, you'd get on the app right um, sign in with your account and then you, you can see here press one if I'm sick or any other number if I'm running late okay so we're gonna go with um, number one today I'm not feeling very well don't want to come into the office run flow all right so let's have a look and see what happens now so for the purpose of this demo, I'm actually the manager of the 365 SIP. So the email has come in. I am not well, as you can see there. And I click it and there we go. Hi manager at the 365 SIP. I'm well, not be in the office today. So that's how that flow works there. Just like magic. 
Okay, so even if I had not checked my email, I can see that flow was total success because I got all green ticks and your flow ran successfully. So same thing would happen in the app if I pressed the button. Um, if I got no errors and I know my flow ran successfully, so I can trust it there. All right, now we're going to test it one more time and we're going to choose any other number so I can show you the demo of how the running late email would work uh, manually. That's a bit slow there. Test. Um, and so again, we've got um, enter one if sick or two if running late or, you know, any other number. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go with two in this instance here. Run flow. Done. Now let's check my email. Again, all green ticks and it's set to false. So that looks pretty good so far. And there we go. There's that email. I'm running late today. Hi team, Melbourne Trams being a pain, I am running late. So there you go, the two emails, um, the two options, and that is how you make I am a running late today or I'm a running sick today flow. And that's a wrap guys. One button, two choices, zero typing. Just the way I like it to get you to sipping more coffee. I hope you like and subscribe to the Microsoft 365 SIP. I'm only going to be doing more automations and more tips and tricks on Microsoft 365. Have a great day, guys.